There is one feature in Windows 11 which is destroying your PC's performance. This entire morning I spent my time fixing my Windows 11 PC. The worst part is there was no issue. I was just trying to use an app which requires you to disable Hyper-V. Hyper-V is a Windows virtual machine platform tool or feature, whatever you want to call it. I had Hyper-V disabled in my system, but somehow Hyper-V was running in the background and I couldn't use the app that I wanted to use. I was about to reinstall Windows, but I think today is my lucky day. Somehow I found out about this feature in Windows 11, which comes pre-enabled by default if you have Windows 11 22H2. This is a security related feature in Windows 11, which should be turned on if you're really concerned about your PC's security. But if you're a gamer, then this thing is not good. How this security feature actually works is it isolates the operating system and device from running processes. Okay, here's a quick easy example. This is your PC and you enable the core isolation. All right. So what it does is it creates a layer or wall in between the processes and your device, your PC. Now, when this thing is enabled, let's say you want to run a game, all right, game or any program. The game needs to ask the core isolation thing or the layer, that's what we are calling it right now, to access the information like to run or anything. And then core isolation, this layer will check the game or app, whatever you're trying to run, if this thing is safe or not, and then it will pass through. So basically, if this thing is turned on, it will use more resources and it will increase the latency and it will also drop the FPS. As of my understanding, this thing actually decreases the performance of your Windows 11 PC. Actually, you should uh, read this article from Microsoft Core Isolation. They have this thing. And once you read this, you know what's up, right? I don't even have to explain you guys how this thing works and why this thing uses more resources and makes your PC slower. All right. So that's one thing and second issue when you use this is you can't disable Hyper-V. You know how we enable and disable the Hyper-V? You know, go to the turn Windows feature on or off. From here, we can enable the Hyper-V, Windows hypervisor platform, virtual machine platform and all those th stuffs. And you can see I don't have any of those enabled, right? But if I enable this feature, Core Isolation, it will enable the Hyper-V because it uses the virtualization-based security. I already explained you how this thing works, right? So basically, if you have this turned on, you also turn on the Hyper-V. If you don't need Hyper-V, then this is the only one way to completely turn off the Hyper-V. This thing isn't the new thing, all right? This was also present in Windows 10, but you had to enable this manually. It wasn't a automatic pre-enabled feature, but in Windows 11, uh, starting from Windows 11 version 22H2, it will come pre-enabled. And again, as I said, if you care about your device's security, you should turn this thing on. But if you care about the performance, you should turn this thing off. So it all depends on your need. For me, I have to turn it off because I don't want to use Hyper-V because there are some apps that I want to use which requires you to disable the Hyper-V. Plus, Sometimes I play games, so if I have this thing turned off, my game will run a little bit better. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.